Hi there and welcome back to my channel, the place to be when it comes to gut health and overall well-being. So I know there is a lot of information out there when it comes to health and well-being and I also understand that it can feel overwhelming just to try and navigate through it all. So that's why I created this video as I wanted to debunk a few myths, especially when it comes to the plant-based diet. Before we dive into today's video, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell just to make sure you stay updated on whenever I post a new video every Tuesday. All right, so myth number one is that you can't do an intense workout on a plant-based diet. So there's this misconception that meat is the ultimate source for energy and, and strength. But the reality is that our muscles actually prefer something known as glycogen as its main source of energy. And glycogen is a form of a carbohydrate. And where do we find carbohydrates? So mainly in plant-based foods. And when I say carbo carbohydrates, I'm talking about the, the good kinds. Uh, if you're a bit in doubt uh, what the difference is between good and bad carbs, um, I suggest that you check out another video that I have that I will put up here and also in the uh, description uh, below. And good carbs also provide your brain with its preferred source of energy, um, which is known as uh, glucose, and that helps you to also stay alert and focused. And if you're still not convinced, just look at vegan ultra runner Katra Corbett or multi Wimbledon winner Venus Williams, who's also hashtag powered by plants. And myth number two is that you don't get enough protein from a plant-based diet. So first of all, the most common question that I get is, so if you're plant-based, where do you get your protein from? So that's another reason why I thought it was so important to, to bring this myth uh, up and just to kind of clear things out with, with this one. And I definitely don't blame anyone for asking this question. If anyone is to blame, it's the media and marketing efforts that has simply made us believe that meat is the number one source or the main source of uh, protein. And so first of all, a lack of protein is actually very uncom uncommon. So we tend to overestimate how much protein we actually need. So as a general guideline, we need about 0 0.8 grams of protein per kilo of body weight. And most people get twice the amount that they actually need to consume. And another thing is that protein is very easy to recycle um, as well in the body. So that's another reason um, for the fact that we don't need to actually eat as much protein as we think we do. And myth number three is that it doesn't taste anything. First of all, I don't think I would be eating so much plant-based food to be on a plant-based diet if I didn't think that um, that it has an amazing taste as well. So you can definitely create a magical tasting experience with plant-based foods. So for example, just by adding more herbs and spices, you can definitely improve the tasting experience. So for example, things like uh, cayenne and parsley go very well with legumes and then you have things like um, mustard and mint and that do very well in, in salad dressings so but just to give you some inspiration and kind of demonstrate that it actually um, does or can taste amazing i'm gonna leave one of my recipes in, in the description below all right so that's it thank you so much for joining this video if you found it helpful go ahead and, and give it a like or a comment below also if you're curious about learning more about the the power of 
plants, I have a free master class all about restoring your gut health and turning fatigue into energy. Um, and I'm gonna leave the link to register for that master class also below in the description. So with that said, I hope to see you next time.